Good crowd here tonight. Just wondering uh, for all you guys out there if you are on the web or are you on your cell phone? It's not ready for Android yet. Sad face. How are you guys out there? Anybody on an iPhone have the Android app or I mean the iPhone app loaded? Everybody's on the web. Hi, Jorge. Yeah. I'm anxious for it to come on um, Android. But I was just wondering if there was anybody here on the app. Anyone? I, I don't even know actually if they're on the app if they can communicate. So um, I suppose Joel will know if anybody was on there. Hey Steve, great to see you. Great to see all you guys tonight. Good group popping in here. We're going to get started on in about two minutes. You're on the iPad, Axel. Well, is that cool or what? You're on the iPad and you can you can communicate with us. That is exciting. Okay, that is really exciting. Yeah. So if you want to get it, it's just in beta. Okay, it's in early beta. So if you want to get it, you just go to the App Store on your iPhone or your iPad, and you look for the GVO Conference app. I'll type it in here. Look at you on the iPhone and tablet. All right. And then once you get the app downloaded, you're going to look for GVO Academy is the name of the room. How cool is that? Oh, Jillian, we're all on the web. Okay. We're just checking in to see if people are using the app. That's all. The call tonight is about autoresponders and it's really cool because in the past people said, you know, well, I'm on the road. I can't access it from my phone, and now they can, so no more excuses. <laughs> so we got one minute till the top of the hour. I'm just going to go and uh, grab a, a glass of water, and we'll get started right away. Well, here we are right at the top of the hour. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to our GVO training call for Tuesday, March 3rd. Whoa into the fifth month of the year already. Holy smokes. My name is Janet Leger, and it's my honor to be with here with you every week sharing the GVO tools with you so that you can use the tools to build your business and make more money. Good idea. Last week we had a quick introduction and we went over some of the topics that we're going to cover. We talked a bit about me, uh, who I am, and, and how I got here. And uh, here we are this week. We're going to be talking about autoresponders, and, and I, I just want to apologize for a moment because I had my slides all ready for call, and I was all ready for the call, and AVG had done a tune-up on my computer, and so I had to reboot my computer, and the slides weren't saved. So I think I have them back to where I wanted them, but they're not quite as polished as they were, so if there's any errors, I apologize, but the meat of the matter is there. Sound good? A quick recap from last week. Well, Mark, last week was just an introduction to GBO. Uh, we talked about um, the programs that we're going to be talking about, some of the training that we'll offer, and we had consensus from everybody here that they wanted to start the training with the autoresponder, learning how to use the autoresponder. So that's how we're starting this week. And next week I'm planning to talk about the web host manager, your domain name, and setting up WordPress. That's providing we get through the whole call tonight. Okay, so we might want to have to do this call in two calls. Uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So last week was just an introduction. I do have a, a recording of the call. In fact, that's what I was doing here just before the call. I was just... And, you know, I forgot to go and share it in the groups on Facebook. If anybody here wants to go and, and do that, that would be pretty cool. I need those open. I need those open. And, yeah, I can leave that open. Well, we can go there after. And there we go. Okay. Where was I? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to get ready. I'm trying to shut down all these programs because I do plan to use desktop sharing tonight. Okay, we have a lot to cover. Can you tell I'm just a little disorganized? I'm actually going to shut my Skype off. 
I'm going to sign out of Skype just because going into desktop sharing, I don't want it to, um, I want to have all the resources available. Okay, don't need that. Okay, I don't need that. We'll close that for now. Are we having fun? <laughs> I'm trying to get organized here. There we go. Those are the two things that I want to have open for when we go into live training. Jean says, there was no recording of last week. That's what I was doing. Okay, it's not in the back office. Um, I do have it. I will get the link for you. I've just put it up on my YouTube channel for now. I need to get it to uh, Joel uh, to get them to upload it. So let me. Well, we are right at the top of the hour, oh, so great. My apologies. All right, so here we go. This is, there's the link to last week's call. All right, so you can bookmark that, put it up there. Um, and this week's call will go up there as well. And I will be talking to Joel to see how we're going to get these into the GVO back office, okay? And I know that my hubby Don, you'll see him in the, down li in the uh, list down there, is recording our call tonight. And so hopefully everything will turn out okay. Sometimes we have hiccups. So fingers crossed everything goes well tonight. Oh, the GVO autoresponder. I think you're all excited about this call, right? I'm going to just take a quick poll of everybody in the room and see if you have all set up your autoresponder yet. Just a quick yes or no. About 90 people on the call so far. I know that there'll be more. I'm pretty sure the room's going to fill up here. Just a quick yes or no. Is your autoresponder set up at GVO, whether it's GVO or Pure Leverage? No. I expect to see a few no's. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. Lots of yeses. I like the yeses, but there are a lot of no's. Okay? And I'm going to tell you guys that we talked about this in the intro training. There, there are these three secrets to building your business on the Internet. Three secrets to success here online. And those three secrets are that you need a lead capture page, which is attached to an autoresponder. You need to build your list. That's the number one thing you need to do. You need to build your list. You need to so you need to have a lead capture page. You need to advertise it. And you need to follow up. You need to build your list. End of. All of your emails went into the spam box and couldn't be fixed. I'm just start a new list, Eon. I mean, there's ways around all that. That those things can be sorted. Um, but it's important that you start building your list. Um, well, I suppose it's good enough to hear. Are you a member of of GVO? Do you have an account with GVO or host nonprofit? Because that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about the auto. Well, if you remember, then you've got the autoresponder. Okay, you've got access to it here. So I'm going to be showing you how to set this one up. Now, if you want, you can take what I'm teaching you here today and apply it to any autoresponder because it's going to be the same. It's the same in every autoresponder. They're all different. They all have different functions. They all have different menus. They all look different. But at the end of the day, this, you're going to be doing the same things. A plugin is needed to display this content. Why does this come up? Um, I'm Tom Thomas Kelly, are you on the iPhone or an iPad or are you on a PC? Trent wants the YouTube link again. There you go. All right, this week's training, autoresponder. Here's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about GVO versus pure leverage. GVO, host and profit versus pure leverage. They are different. Okay? A little bit. Depends which way you come in. So is there anybody here who is just a pure leverage member? I would assume there's a lot of GVO and Pure Leverage members where you have a, both accounts, but I'm wondering, are there any that are just with GVO? If I could just see in the text chat, that would be cool. But I'm going to go through both of them. I'm going to talk to you about setting up your campaign, which is your list. All right, that's the meat of your campaign. I'm going to show you how to set up your opt-in message. In GVO, the opt-in message is, if you don't change it, you're probably not going to get as many confirmations. I'll show you that when we go into um, set everything up. So we've got a few here that are, are just with pure leverage or just with GVO. So cool. 
Okay, I'm going to show you both today. I'm going to talk about the follow-up messages. How many people here, put your hand up, okay, how many people here? Uh, the older iPhone, you need to have the flash pair. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, Mary, that's, thank you for that information. How many people here have a challenge with the follow-up messages for your autoresponder? In fact, it probably could be the one thing that's really holding you back with your autoresponder is writing those follow-up messages. Anybody? Nice group. Over 100 people here today. Hey, guys, thanks. Great to see you. Yeah, that's a challenge, isn't it? Isn't it a challenge? Well, we're going to be covering a lot of that here. In fact, you know, come to think of it, like I said, we may have to do this call in two parts. We'll see how much information you guys really need, uh, how much detail you really need, uh, because there's no rush to go through this training, is there? It's better that we go through it in detail. All right, so we're going to talk about follow-up messages, and I'm going to give you some tips that are going to make this so easy. You're going to be in love with me. And I'm going to show you how to set up an opt-in form, because the opt-in form is how you get subscribers into your list. And I don't have it on here, because like I said, I didn't change all of these. I have some of it changed. We're also going to be talking about your capture page. Because once you have your opt-in form done, then you need to put it somewhere, right? You need to have a page where somebody can go and fill out your form and get on your list. That's what it's all about. All right. We're going to talk about that. Any questions so far? Any questions yet? And welcome to all of our guests who are calling in tonight from their iPhone or their iPad. I think that's pretty cool. I don't have one. I have a Samsung. Okay, so Joel. Note to Joel and all the programmers out there. Okay, there's lots of us out there that have our have our Androids, and uh, we're anxious to have it on our Androids. Okay, it's just a note out there to Joel. But I just wanted to put a big shout out to all of the guests that are in here tonight on their iPhones and iPads. You're you're gonna have to let us know at the end of the call how how it is. How was it? Did it you know? Did it was it pretty stable? Um, I'm anxious to know that, and I will keep the chat open as long as you guys are. All right, as long as I can keep up with it. Okay, I'll do my best. <laughs> if I can't keep up, I'll let you know. All righty. So let's get started. Host GVO versus host and profit versus pure leverage. What the heck is the difference? Give me a second, guys. Well, let's start with host and profit. Host and profit is the low-end starter service which includes web hosting, video hosting, autoresponder, and a whole bunch of other tools. GVO is an upgraded package to host and profit. So you have a, um, a bigger autoresponder, uh, unlimited hosting, things like that. <clears throat> Pure Leverage is a marketing system which includes an autoresponder. There's no hosting with Pure Leverage and no video hosting. There might be video hosting. But there's no web hosting with Pure Leverage. With Pure Leverage, you do get a blog. You get a, um, what do they call it? Um, that word just left my mind. As you get, a, you get a, a blog branded to Pure Leverage for you that you've got quite a bit of flexibility with. And um, it's really good to use the blog. They even show you tips and strategies to do that. We're going to be talking about that when we get into the blogging section. You can be a Pure Leverage member and not be in GVO and vice versa. If you're in GVO, it's best to join Pure Leverage from inside GVO because then they're, they're completely connected, as you'll see when we go into desktop sharing. Does that make sense about... Okay, so with Pure Leverage, you can host your video, Rebecca, because I, I know they have video email. We'll be talking about that when we go into desktop sharing. It's been a long time since I've, I've used those tools. Uh, but I know that they're out there. Signing out of the V. Okay, excellent, Mary. Thank you for that. So Mary's got the, her uh, this loaded on her iPhone and on her PC. So she's signing out so that she can evaluate that. Again, the app, the, the GVO conference app is still in beta. So thank you guys for testing it. You guys rock. Any questions about the difference between the three programs? Any HTP members here that are just in host and profit? Host and profit is 
$9.97 a month, less than $10 a month. You get autoresponder, hosting, video hosting, and everything else that's included. Unbelievable. Best way to get your business started. You're in both, Danny. Yeah, GVO, well, they give you a blog, Lisa. So you, there's no hosting with, GV, with Pure Leverage. So you don't get the web host manager and all that with Pure Leverage. That's GVO. So I hope that makes sense. And the crowd is growing. So I'm going to be covering your campaign, your opt-in message, your follow-up messages, your opt-in form, and the capture page. These are all things you need to understand in your autoresponder. They're not hard, okay? None of this is hard. Repeat after me. This is easy. Type it in there. This is easy, okay? It really is. All of this. It is easy. Now, everybody who, out there who are really good salespeople and they're really good copywriters, plug your ears for a minute because at the end of the day, yes, it's important that you understand the sales process and you understand good ad copy and all of that. But I look at it this way. This is my autoresponder and I really want the people on my list to get to know me. And so I want my emails to reflect me, not a sales letter. If it was, I mean, if I had a site, and I'll be showing you some sites that was specific to a product or maybe an ebook, and, and then my follow-up messages for that specific thing would likely be more salesy. But what I'm referring to here is your personal contact list on your personal blog, your main meat and matter of your business. And I want to show you how easy this can be, okay? Because this is really, really easier than you guys are making it. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to write really good follow-up messages that people read, people are anxious to hear from you. Sound like a good idea? And we're going to do our best to cover it all by the top of the hour. And if we don't, it's okay, because we will just continue this call next week. Sound good? All right. I'd rather break it up into two so that you, we can have two segments of the call if we need to. And it looks like we just might need to, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's easy. That's right, Georgia. Okay, you've got them all. Excellent. Hi, Wynand. Great to see you guys. So awesome to see everybody here. Look at that group going. 118 people. All right, the campaign. So it's really important that you guys understand some of the terminology because some of the autoresponders are, are different. In GVO, it's called your campaign. So your campaign is basically your list, and you can have many of them. Uh, with, host the, with host then profit, you can have five campaigns. Now let me, in, let me tell you something, okay? So there was lots of no's in here. You only need one, okay? So repeat after me. I only need one campaign. You're, in, you're new to all this. You haven't even started building your list yet. The last thing you need is to be setting up a campaign for this, 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 this. Not necessary, okay? I'm going to talk about that when we get into the follow-up messages, but totally not necessary. One campaign. You're going to call that campaign something that's relevant to you, okay? We're going to show you when we go into desktop sharing how you set that campaign up. So I really do recommend that you start by building one list and then promote all your programs through that list. Sound good? Yeah, we only need one. Marjorie says, I got subscribers in the co-op, but don't know how to do this. So I know you're supposed to email these people. Okay, well, when we go into desktop sharing, Marjorie, we'll show you how to do that. Because when you go in to look at your leads, you can actually send a broadcast to everybody on those lists. Okay, so that's, you know, at GVO, if you're in pure leverage and you're getting the leads from GVO, they're all in those campaigns in your back office. And, you know, yeah, I can see that you don't know how to contact those people. So I'm going to fix that for you today, okay? Hopefully today. Might not be until next week. I want to make promises here. we got a lot to cover. The opt-in message. Anybody here notice that the opt-in message in GVO is a little bit, it really needs to be tweaked. 
Um, it, it says something about join to campaign or and the subject's got a whole bunch of exclamation marks. Anyways, at the end of the day, you need to edit that. I'm going to show you an email that you can use. You just want to keep it simple. Uh, you just want to let them know what list they have subscribed to, what they can expect, and ask them to confirm their email. The confirmation link is automatically added to the email. You don't need to add it into the email, okay? Yeah, it's old style. Make sure, one other thing is make sure you don't include any links in your opt-in message. This is the email that they're going to receive when they subscribe. And when they get that email, it will have the confirmation link to get on your list. They're not on your list until they confirm. Does that make sense? It's important you understand that. You know, when you go and you fill out a form and subscribe, there's always an email sitting in your inbox and you have to confirm your email address. So you want to make sure you change that opt-in message so that your readers actually get it. Follow-up message. This is the bane of your existence, isn't it? Yes? Put your hands up again. Follow-up messages. Just don't even know what to say. Don't even know what to write in my emails. Blah, blah, blah. Any yeses out there? That follow-up messages are the bane of your existence. They're just, I am not a writer. I don't consider myself a, a writer. Why is the opt-in form say... Uh, we'll talk about the opt-in form, too. That's a lot of yeses, okay? There are a lot of you here having a challenge with follow-up messages. So I really am glad you're here and paying attention, I hope, and uh, taking notes. I hope you're taking notes. Now, you're going to need to write a series of emails for your campaign. You're going to keep these emails simple and brief. They're not going to be big, long sales letters. They don't need to be. Let your website do the selling. Use your email to encourage activity by your reader. Include a call to action in every email. And keep them personal and friendly. So I'm going to give you an example. Um, your initial follow-up message after they subscribe, you want to say, hello, name. Janet, I, this is how I write my Janet Legere here. Thank you for subscribing to my list. I look forward to sharing my tips and strategies with you in the upcoming emails. In the meantime, here's the free report you requested. I look forward to talking soon. If you have a minute, add me to Skype. I'd love to have a conversation. Have a great day. Janet Legere, and I include my contact info. That's it. Do you guys think you can write an email like that? Anybody? Pretty simple. Oh, yeah, we'll talk about creating the form. Don't worry, Catherine. We're going to go into desktop sharing so I can actually show you how to do this. Okay. Once you have your campaign set up, you have your opt-in message set up, you've got your follow-up message set up, just one. You only need one to get started. We'll talk about the rest of those in a minute, okay? Because the rest of them are really easy. <laughs> I think we need a whole call just on those messages. The opt-in form is what you need to start building your subscriber list. You're going to need to put this opt-in form on a website or a capture page. Now, at this point, GBO doesn't really offer you an option where you can put this opt-in form. You can put it on your Pure Leverage blog if you have a blog. I'll show you how to do that. You can put it on your own blog. I'll show you how to do that. You can also, there's a lot of um, capture page software out there that allows you to connect your autoresponder. Um, so we haven't covered those. I don't know that I'll, I'll be covering that type of thing, but I am going to show you how to use your blog to create a capture page to get subscribers. Sound like a good plan? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to talk to Joel about um, sharing with you some ideas on how to set up different capture pages, but we can talk about that in the future. Right now, I just really want you to get familiar with your autoresponder. Most of you probably already have a blog and you don't even know what to do with it. So now you'll know what to do with it. Okay, and all of this is easy. Remember, easy. Easy. <laughs> the capture page. So now that your autoresponder set is set up, you need to put your form on a page to capture subscribers. You can use your blog, a website, or a capture page system. And if you're with Pure Leverage, you can use their preset capture pages. And it's all easy, 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 easy. Even if you have to build all this yourself, it's easy, easy, easy. Okay. 
So we covered that pretty quickly. Before we go live, are there any questions? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into desktop sharing. Hopefully it's going to work. Luckily, I have my husband here. So if anything goes kaflui, he'll be yelling at me or pounding on the, the, the ceiling so that I can hear him. <laughs> any questions before we go? So I'm going to go in. I'm going to go into GVO. I'm going to show you where the autoresponder is. I'm going to show you how to set up a campaign. I'm going to show you how to set up a opt-in message, how to set up your follow-up message, I'm going to show you how to set up a form. Okay, sound good? Now we're going to go into Pure Leverage, and I'm going to give you a tour of the marketing system in Pure Leverage, and I'll show you where the autoresponder is in Pure Leverage. In both systems, I'm also going to show you how to send a broadcast email. Sound good? Can I put the last page back up? I surely can, Jillian. There you go. Is that the one you wanted? Are you guys all ready to go into desktop sharing? Yes? So let's cross our fingers and hope this works because I bet you I'm going to have to download something. It's been a while since I've used desktop sharing too. All right. Well, look at that. Bing bada boom. That was easy. Are you guys all seeing my, my desktop? And I'm going to shut video off just while we're in desktop sharing and we're going to head over to gvo here we go and don's there he can let me know so here we are i'm just going to go to the home page so we're not getting confused here here we are inside gvo and you're just going to scroll down now i have a gvo titanium account if you have a host and profit account it's going to look a little bit different but it's going to be pretty close all right, so you might have to think outside the box a little if it doesn't look exactly the same as what I'm showing you here. So I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to click on my autoresponder. This is where you access all, everything about your autoresponder. Now, don't let this scare you. I have a lot of campaigns. I've been a part of GVO since forever. I do a lot of training. I do, I have a lot of things. So I have a lot of campaigns, but I have a main campaign, and that's really all that matters. And today I'm going to show you how to set up a new campaign. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click Add Campaign. Maybe I'm going to make this screen just a little bigger. There we go. Oh, that looks better. Right here. Add Campaign. All righty. All right, Don came up to remind, to ask me to go full screen, so my apologies. There we go. This will be better now. All right, so here we are. Hopefully you can actually see where we are now. Uh, we're in the autoresponder section, and we clicked on Add Campaign. So we need to give our campaign a name, and, and I'm going to call this my GVO training campaign. It might be my personal contact list. It could be uh, to give away a report whatever you want to call it. This is just for you. All right, so this is the description of the list. I mean, you can use this information in your autoresponder, so I'm going to call this um, GVO, oops, GVO training list. Now, this is something you need to pay attention to, okay? And I know a lot of people don't change this. It pulls the information from your account, so it pulls your username and your, your, your email on file. So you want to change the name and put your real name. You may want to change the email, and I am on this one. I'm going to change the email address. The notification email is okay. I'm going to let that go back to the to me at JanetLegere.com. There we go. Now, this is, says click here to unsubscribe, click here to join. We can't change those. Company name. Um, I might put my contact list builder, or no, it says GVO. Okay, so I'm going to put GVO, host and profit. Now, website URL. If in my form I don't put a redirect URL, when they confirm their email, well, actually, when they confirm their email in there from the autoresponder, it's going to send them to whatever website I put here. All right, so if I want them to go to my GVO account, Mm. 
Oh, I think this goes this way, Janet Legere.host, then profit.com. I'm pretty sure that's the URL. I want to be notified by subscriber. Now, I could also, if I wanted to, if this was my personal one, I could say that I was sending it just to my personal website. And so in that case, I would just put my name, Janet Legere, and put my website. Not wanting to confuse you. All right, so there we go. I would put my name and my website. Remember, when, you're, when your subscriber confirms their email address, they're going to be directed to this website. So I'm going to put this one back to GBO. H host profit host then profit.com. Now I'm going to click add. So remember, let's just review. We gave it a name that's relevant to our list. Uh, we changed our name, the from name, very important right here. Yeah, you can keep the email that's your email address on file or change the email, that's up to you. And then the website URL is where they're going to be directed when they click the confirmation email. So now we're going to click Add. And it's creating our campaign. Now, I have more. Um, yeah, okay. See, I changed my email address. And so it's telling me that. And so I'm going to have to confirm that email address. So do you see all these campaigns here, this drop-down menu? Right on the right here, this is important. Now, you only if you've only got one campaign, this is your first campaign, it's going to be the only one on this list. But if you have more than one, you're going to want to make sure that you choose that campaign. So there's the one I just set up, GVO Training. And now it's active in this drop-down menu. So what this means is that anything I do now, if I'm working on my messages, uh, doing any work for subscribers, or creating forms, it's all going to be relevant to this list. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now that we've set up our campaign is go here to Messages. And by the way, while we're here, I'm just going to show you this magic little button here, Broadcast. That's where you can send an email to all of your subscribers all at once. All right, but right now, we need to edit this little puppy right here, Opt-in Message. You're going to love this. So you'll see it says, hello, subscriber, full name with four, oh no, only three exclamation marks. So we're going to change that. And we're going to say, thank you. Thank you. Now, if you don't know the code, you can get the code. Ooh, where's insert field? Okay. So here's subscriber. Oops. First name. There's what I want. Let's get rid of this garbage. Okay. Subscriber first name. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it here. Thank you, subscriber first name. Here is the information you requested. Now I have an email already written up. Oh, sorry. This is the confirmation email. <laughs> Please confirm your email address. All right, we'll come back to that one later. There we go. And I already have an opt-in message down here. There we go. There's my opt-in message. I'll copy and paste it here so I can and then I'll show it to you. Now you'll see that it's formatted a little funny. I'm just going to make it a paragraph so it's not off. There we go. Hello, subscriber. I want this to be first name. There we go. First name. Thank you for visiting my website. If you are looking for help to build your business online or would like to keep in touch, please confirm your subscription by clicking the link below. <clears throat> I look forward to sharing with you the tools and resources that work for me. Thank you. And I included where I'm from, my phone number, and my Skype ID. Now I'm going to copy all this and paste it down here in the text area. So just note, this is HTML and this is text. It needs to be in both fields. And this insert field allows you to use codes from the system. The only one we need here is their first name. So that's all set up. And I'm going to click Update. 
Now our opt-in message is set up. Okay, we have a little bit of a lag, so I'm just going to let things catch up a bit. Let me come in the room. So there we've set up the opt-in message. I'm going to do the follow-up message next. I just want to see if there's any questions. The text looks quiet. Are you keeping up okay? Maybe I need to slow down just a little bit. We're doing okay on time. Are we all still out there? <laughs> I'm going to assume everything is okay. I'm not seeing any feedback. So, All right, well, we're going to go back in here and go and set up our first follow-up message. Now, did you notice that when I saved the opt-in message, it brought us right back to our follow-up messages. And so I'm going to go here to click to create a message because there aren't any and we need one. Now this says send after one day after the previous message. Well, the truth is I want this message to go out immediately. So I'm going to put a zero. I want to go out right away. And the subject is going to say thank you for confirming here is, whoops, actually, I, sorry, I'm going to put their name first. Subscriber first name, there we go, try this. Here is the information you requested. Then I'm going to go grab that other email. So here's my follow-up message that I've already written up. I love this. This is a really cute little um, unsubscribe. I'm actually going to leave it in there and read it to you because I think it's very cute. All right, so here's our message. And again, it's showing it because I copied it out of my text file. It shows that it's pre-formatted. And this is, again, the full name. I don't want their full name, just their first name. You can find that code in the insert field here. See, insert field subscriber first name. Janet Leger here. Thank you for subscribing to my personal contact list. As you know, my focus is helping you learn to use the internet to create leads for your business. Over the next few days, you will receive a series of emails designed to help you understand the importance of branding you and the KLT or no like and trust factor. I hope you enjoy them. Please let me know if you have any questions or need help in any way. You'll find my contact details below. Have a great day. Here's the link to the free report. Now you'll notice the link is not hyperlinked. And so I would want to come here and I would copy that link. I'm not even sure if it's a valid link at this point. And it, did you see that button I clicked? Let me go back here. Right here, this little hyperlink. So you highlight what you want to hyperlink. And you click that little hyperlink. And I paste it in there. So there it is. I'm going to insert. And see, now it's hyperlinked. I can use these uh, bold, I can um, italic, I can underline things, but I'm just going to leave it fairly plain. Remember I said this was going to be easy. I put my contact information there, now, just like the opt-in message. So I just went on my, I can either go with my mouse and, no, it won't let me do that. I can select all by highlighting it, or on your keyboard, you just go Control A, and it highlights all of your text. Then I can go to Control C on my keyboard, copies it into my memory, and then I'm going to come down here and paste it, and that's Control D. Now I have to read this to you, okay? Breaking up is always hard, and there have been many a good country song written about it. This time, at least it's easy, and you can do it with the click of a button. In the old days, there would have been an awkward conversation, including lines like, it's not you, it's me. I'm just not ready for a commitment. I just couldn't handle the distance. And our favorite, your cat doesn't like me. Although it saddens us to see you go, maybe we can still be friends. Have fun and enjoy the ride. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. So this is a simple follow-up message just to let them know what's coming. And I include the link to the report that they requested when they filled out the form. So then I and remember, this is going to go out immediately because I put a zero. If I put a 1, it's not going to go out until tomorrow or the day after they subscribe. 
So I'm going to click Add on this. Maybe I'll click it again. There we go. We're just waiting for that to come up. There we go. Oops, I added it twice. So I'm just going to delete that because I don't need it on there twice. Now, if I want to add another message, I can just come over here and click the plus sign. Or I can go up here and go add follow-up. Now, when I add my second follow-up message, I either want it to go out the next day or I might want it to go out in two days or three days. Maybe you only want your letters to go out once a week. You can decide that here. All right. I like them to go out one, once every day so I can keep in touch with them. Um, so I'm going to say with this one, Do you have your own website or maybe just where are you hosting? Where are you hosting your website? And then I could put their, the code for their name again. So it's subscriber first name. There we go. I'm going to make this really simple. Hello. And I'm going to put there. I want to show you how easy this is. It doesn't need to be. Remember the websites to, whoops, Janet Leger here. I was wondering where you are hosting your domain. Do you have a domain? We use and recommend the services of GDO Host and Profit. Or just... Nine ninety seven a month, you can get a professional auto responder hosting and even video hosting. Check it out and try it here. And then I put my link. Of course, I want to hyperlink that, right? So just I highlighted it, copied it, clicked that little hyperlink button, and paste my link right there, and insert. And bing, bada, boom. Let's connect on Skype and talk about your business. Okay? My ID is Janet Leger. Talk soon. Have a great day. Oops. Janet Leger. Skype. I always say voicemail or text. My number. And then I'm going to copy it all and paste it down there. And there's my message. Pretty simple. That wasn't very salesy. Okay, now I'm going to show you another email. Just wait, this is going to get even cooler, okay? I can set up unlimited emails here. So I can go and I can set up a quick email like that for every program I belong to. I can go in here and I can send a broadcast email that's, or not a broadcast, I can set up a follow-up message for some of my blog posts. I can say, hey, I wrote a blog post about XYZ. Have you seen my blog lately? Have you, you know, stay up to date. Let's write that. Whoops, I clicked the wrong button. All right, I'm going to go back here and we're going to add another follow-up message. And I want this one to go out the next day, all right, one day apart. Have you seen my blog yet? And I'm going to put their name. After a while, you get to know the codes. All right, hello. Hope you guys are getting the drift of this. You can see how easy it really is. Janet Leger here. Have you seen my blog lately? Check out my latest post at
Let me know what you think. Talk soon. I gotta learn to type. <laughs> Have a great day. Can I share? This guy can I share? Oops. Voice. Now, more text. Whoops. And one thing I actually also like to do is put my country at the end of my phone number so that people out of Canada know that if they phone and leave a message, they're calling long distance. So again, I highlighted it and pasted it below. Oops, forgot to hyperlink. So there I highlight it, copy, and click that little linky poo. And there we go. Now I have another email. Now, if I wanted them to check out Got Backup, I could write another email and say, hey, have you looked at Got Backup? Are you trying to protect your memories? And I could write another email. Okay? Let me come back in the room, make sure you guys are still doing good. Are we here? I wonder if you guys can't text when I'm in. Maybe I have to come back into small mode and see if you guys are able to text. And there we are. Okay. Are we doing okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Can't text in full screen. All right. We're are we okay then? See, every once in a while I catch on, all right? I'm slow sometimes. You stuck in the campaign, on the campaign code in the very beginning. I'll go back to that briefly for you, okay? All right. All right. I'm going to go full screen again. And I'm just going to go back to the campaign because there's no code. All right, you know, actually, I think the campaign code will make sense to you when we go and create the form. Okay, so bear with me, um, and I can cover any questions that uh, you may still have when we get there. So back over to full screen. So we've got a few messages set up. We've got our opt-in message set up. What's the last thing we need? A form. So again, we want to make sure that the campaign is listed here under campaign code right there. Now I'm going to click forms. There isn't one. So I'm going to create a form. Now, I hope you're all paying attention and I don't want to confuse you. I don't need to change the form name, number one, right here. Thank you, Paige. This is where you have options. You can choose one of these, English male, English female, blah, 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 or a custom URL. Maybe you have your own thank you page. Maybe you have a page that you want to direct your visitors to after they subscribe. They're going to get their confirmation email. Maybe you want to create a page that tells them they're going to get a confirmation email. All right? Or you can just choose to listen to the English male or the English female. And I think they... You can view it. Just so let's let's choose the English. I like the English female. So one second, you can hear it. Congratulations! You're almost done. You have just been sent an email with a confirmation link. Please visit your email now and click that link to activate your subscription. Thank you. All right. So that's the female. There's a male. There's also in Russian, Spanish, Polish, or you can have a custom URL. And so if you have your own thank you page or you want to just send them, you know, I wouldn't mind just sending them directly to my host and profit site. And if they've already subscribed to my list but they forgot, I'm going to send them to the host and profit site. You do want to check double opt-in, but there are occasions when you want to uncheck that. And if you uncheck it, they don't get a confirmation email. Right, so you need to know that. It's always best to make sure that's checked. Now, you can choose to have a first name, last name, or get their full name. You can get their email address, and you can check. You can change this text. All right, so in here, I might come in here and just say name. And here where it says, please enter your email, I prefer just to put email. People know they're supposed to enter it. Where it says submit, I might decide that I want to say, yes, tell me, me more. 
Okay. Now I want to show you something else. One more thing. That's it. This is all there is to creating a form. You can either have the English male, female, or a custom URL, and your custom URL can be any website you want, or it can be a thank you page that takes them to the information. I'm going to create this form, but then I'm going to come back and do something else because I like to collect people's Skype ID and I like to collect their phone number. And so I'm going to come, I have to remember where I do this. I think it's under the campaigns. And I can request custom fields. And I can have Skype and phone. All right, so I'm just typing those in there. Those are my custom fields for GBO training. I'm going to update. Now I'm going to go back to my forms. And hopefully this is all catching up with us not too much of a lag. So here's our form that we created. I can edit this form. I just click this little icon here that says edit. So I'm going to edit this form. We're going to come down here and look what happened. I created custom fields and now I can choose the Skype or the phone number or both. I don't want to make it required we want this name to be visible, and we want it required. But I don't want to require their Skype or their phone number. All right, those are going to be optional. So I'm going to say Edit. And now my form is going to include their request for Skype and email. Now, if I want to view my form, I can come right here. Here we go. So there's my form. Name, email, Skype, phone. Looks pretty nice, doesn't it? You see how I changed that because it said, please enter your email? That would be really long here. Even full name would be really long. So I like to shorten them up. Yes, tell me more. Pretty cool, isn't it? So to put this on a website, you're going to come to your form here, and you're going to click this little icon right here that says HTML, right there. And it pops up and gives you this form. And there is all the code you need for your form. See, it starts here with the form code, and it ends here with the form code. You need all of this. And so you would copy this, and you're going to put it on your blog, or you're going to put it on, you can put it on a widget on a blog, you can put it on your capture page, but now you're ready to, to put that on a page to start collecting subscribers. I'm ready to go over to Pure Leverage, and just give you a quick overview of where to find things in Pure Leverage. But I'm going to come back in the room and come out of full screen to see if we have any questions on the GVO end and the, who was it that had wondered about the campaign code. Hoping that that answered Derry. Hope you, hope Derek. Hoping that answered your questions you had. Um, okay, I'll come back and show you where that is. Catherine, it, it, where the form is, there's a little whole bunch of icons on the right-hand side. All right, so just let me go back over there. Good, I'm glad that answered it, Derek. I thought it might. And yes, Barbara, it's being recorded. So you'll be able to look at it over and over again. Isn't that cool? So let's go back in here. And for Catherine, you see right here, we have these icons. And right here... The third one from the left, you see it comes up and says HTML right there. Okay, so this is the one you're going to click. Okay, so if you put your mouse over any of these and hold it, not don't click it, just put your mouse over and hold like this, says edit, preview, HTML, Facebook button. So it'll create a Facebook button to put on your page instead. Popover windows haven't played with those. And here you can delete the form. Okay, pretty simple. All right, let's now, if you are a member of Pure Leverage, you can just come over here and you can click this button and it will take you right here to Pure Leverage. I'm just going to take you to the main Pure Leverage. In Pure Leverage, you're going to scroll down here, down the side, and again, your Pure Leverage might look a little different than mine. 
and you're going to come down here to this level one marketing C. <clears throat> We're getting close to the top of the hour, but I'm pretty sure that I can finish this up. Uh, if need be, we can go over this more next week, okay? But um, here are the two areas that you're going to pay attention to. So the autoresponder. Because I'm a member of GDO, when I come in here, look at this. It remembers that I was working on this campaign. Looks a little different, doesn't it? But here's our campaigns. There's our messages. We can look for our subscribers. There's our forms list and import export. And there's all our campaigns. And there's a video on how to use the autoresponder. So let's just go check. There's our follow-up messages. Well, there they are. There's the messages I created. Now, look, I can even come in here. I can send a broadcast message Come my pure leverage area. And there they are. So if I want to come here, and these are my broadcast messages I've already sent. So I can click Send a Broadcast. I can select the list. So let's say my new list has some subscribers on it, so I want to send them a broadcast and remind them to come to training. We have training tonight. I'm going to write my message just like I would. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Could you imagine if you got this email? Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. <laughs> Copy it. Paste it. I'm actually not going to send this message, but I want to show it to you. All right, so I've got my message. I can put my links in there. I can tell it when I want it to send. All right, so I can say I want this email to go out tomorrow. I can change the date to the 4th, and I can say I want it to go out at 10 o'clock in the morning. Pretty simple, and it tells me what time the server time is. So this, the autoresponder thinks it is 7.54. That would be central time. Once I have my email the way I want it, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click Add. Now my email hasn't gone anywhere yet, just so you know. All right, click on the Q button to put the message in the queue. Well, where's the queue? So here's my message. We have training tonight. Oh, stop, stop. All right, right here. Q. Did you see that? The two arrows says Q. If I click this little envelope, it will send a test message to me so I could test my email and I can edit it here or delete it. If I want to send it, I just click Q. If I click Q and decide I don't, didn't really want to send it, I can actually stop it um, before it's finished. All right, so that's the autoresponder in GVO. It's the same autoresponder we have here, I'm sorry, in Pure Leverage. So it's the same autoresponder as here. The, the, Menu looks different, but we've got campaign, message, subscribers, forms, import. It's just that when I click on the tabs here, the submenus show underneath, right? So here's all the submenus. When I'm in pure leverage, the submenus are drop down. Okay, do you see that? So it's the same thing, only different. Now, what is different about pure leverage is over here. Your level one marketing suite, the lead capture system. Any of you bought leads, this is where you're going to find them. Somebody was asking about how do I contact the leads I purchased. This is where you contact them. This is where they are. All right, so let's look back here. We've got Pure Leverage leads, Pure Leverage customers. So these are all in the Pure Leverage system from the Pure Leverage affiliate URLs. Then we've got the Instant Income system, Local Residual, Got Backup, Webinar Registration, Got Backup, Facebook Funnel, Massive Traffic Co-op, free marketing lifestyle. So these are all different capture pages that the system has created for you that you can use. We've got our back, got backup. We've got the fan page system. These are brand new. Uh, testimonial generator, these are all brand new and coming. So we don't even have those yet, but the, when we get them, this is where the subscribers are going to go. So how do you contact these subscribers? Well, just like in our autoresponder, I can come here and I can broadcast an email. I can manage these lists to a degree and I have two lists that I can actually create on my own um, and create capture pages that I can use. Okay, so this is um, 
like creating an autoresponder here, but different. So you, you've got one or two of them. So I can edit these campaigns. They're already preset. I can't add extras. So on here, I can add messages to this. These are my follow-up messages. I can um, set all that. But you see, I can't create forms because it's already got them for me. So if I go back, sorry guys. And over here with these, your own business leads, so you can use these for your own business, right? So here I can choose the lead capture page. And you'll notice that I have an option of six pages and I can customize them. So if I click on customize, I can edit the text on this page, all right? So I can make the text bigger or, you know, you'll see that the box highlights when I click on it. And I can ch change the text that's on the page, okay? Pretty simple. Now, what you need to know is that these capture pages are attached to either business one or business two, or you can attach it to your other funnel systems. All right, you see how that, we've got six capture pages here. You can edit the text and you can attach it to these campaigns, not to your regular autoresponder. So I don't want to confuse you, but I think it's important that you know that there's two systems. So this is the lead capture system, and this is the autoresponder. They're not connected. And in time, they may be. I'll have to talk to Joel about that. It would be nice if you could actually select those capture pages and have them attached to your one of these campaigns. All right, so I will talk to him about that. Um, and... That looks like I covered everything I wanted to cover today. Let me just come back in here and see if there's anything that you guys need to be further covered. We're right at the top of the hour. That was a lot to take in today. I'm surprised we got through it. The nice thing is it's recorded, so you'll be able to watch it and replay it and do it. Are there any questions? Anything that you need me to cover again? Did some of it make sense? Yes, you can customize those capture pages, Danny. You can. Let me go back into full screen. All right. So here we are. It's in the lead capture system under the level one marketing suite. And down here, you'll see here's the, under your own business lead capture pages, you, on the right-hand side is this icon, choose your lead capture page. And here are the pages, and you can edit these pages. All right, so I can click this, and I can edit all the text on this page. Okay? You don't want to edit the form because that's already in place. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me come back to the room and make it so you can talk. I'm going to come out of desktop sharing. Now. What I need to know from you guys is, oh, there it is. Oops, we're good. It's just, it's a little slow from the desktop sharing. Let me put the camera back on. Right. I just want to know if, if that was enough. Like, did you get enough from that to give you a better understanding of the autoresponder. Is there a way to save the preset capture pages and use them as a template? Uh, don't know about that, Barbara. Don't know about that. You have leads, but no campaign. So where are the leads, Al? You are off of the court. I'll get that to you, Axel, okay? We, hopefully we'll get it in the back office. Should be in the members area. Uh, but, uh, you know, if not, I'll have it for you next week, okay, guys? Too much, too fast, homework. Great. All right. So, I want you guys to set up your campaign. See if you can get one set up. You don't have the recording right now, but uh, if you guys get me on Skype, I did this last week, and I want to tell you guys, you're awesome, okay? Nobody spammed me. Nobody, you know, went crazy. Uh, I am available to answer questions. You can get me on Skype. It's the best way to get me, okay? All right, so if you've never, but now you know where they are, right, Anita? 
And so you can go in there and you can send a message to them. It's never too late, right? Okay, so uh, Jerry, I did show a little bit where those leads are. All right, so they're, they show up in your lead, the lead system, the lead capture system, the lead marketing system, and they're under, there's all the different campaigns and you'll see them get populated. Well, there you go. Is that cool or what? I'm really happy that I was able to um, get that information to you. All right, so if you're in GVO, your massive traffic leads, I have leads in GVO for massive traffic co-op. I have campaigns set up. To send a follow-up message, will they transfer to my campaign if they opt in? Um, I'm not sure what that means, Lisa. If you send a follow-up message, do you mean if you send a broadcast message to them? I mean, if they're already in your campaign. Okay, good to know, Mark, that when the camera's off. Yeah, I'd rather it was off anyway. <laughs> Whoa, Daddy, that's awesome. I'm glad you were here. I'm glad you found it worthwhile. Uh, it depends where the leads are coming from, Rebecca. If you're in pure leverage, they're in that marketing system. Okay, if you're just in GVO, I'm not sure where they are. They should be in a campaign there. All right, so Jerry, just go in and send a broadcast message. In fact, I'm going to challenge all of you, if you have a campaign set up, go in and send a broadcast message this week. Get in touch with your contacts. Hey, name, subscriber, first name. It's Mary here. It's Fred here. Let's connect on Skype. It's that simple. You'd be surprised how many people will respond to you. So are you guys ready for some hosting next week, or do you want to do more autoresponders? Yeah, they're getting emails from Joel. They absolutely are with your links in them, okay? I don't know how they can be in there without a campaign. I'm not sure where they are. They could be in the lead section of GVO, okay? Okay, that's good to know, Mary. All right, we'll let them know that the, the desktop sharing doesn't show on the iPhone, but that's okay. So would you, I, I just want to, I need to get feedback from Oliver. Would you prefer that we do another overview of the autoresponder tomorrow? And I can, I didn't even get to show you, you know, how the blogs and all that. So I can show you how to, how to put it on your blog, how to create a capture page. No, it has to be the percentage signs in GVO, Mark, okay? And it has to be subscriber first name, not name. So it's like this, subscriber first name, or last name or full name. All right, no slide. Oh, those darn slides. Well, it's a good thing there's no slide because I'm not going to be doing the domains next week, okay? No, not on Thursday, just Tuesday nights, 8 o'clock Eastern. And we will review the autoresponder again, okay? You know, to be honest with you, I would talk about the autoresponder every week if that's what you needed. Remember, these calls on Tuesday nights are for you. I want you to know how to use these tools so that you use them. Because if you use them, you're going to benefit from the system, right? Yeah. All right. Tuesday, autoresponder review. I'm going to be asking you the questions. So make sure you get in there and review them. Uh, get me on Skype. If you follow me on Facebook, you'll get the links. Um, and I did have my YouTube channel. Here we go. Here's last week's training. I will give it to you guys one more. All right. And that is where I will put this week's training as well. I do have a, um, a channel there for GBO training. So you can check it there, okay? All right. You guys are awesome. I love you. Thank you for being here. You made my day. You really did. Uh, I hope you got something from this training, and we'll do lots of review next week. Bring your questions, okay? Get into the autoresponder, see what you can do, and bring your questions next week. We're going to help you get set up. You guys are awesome.